Now, I can follow on from doing the analysis at the macro level by working in a bit more detail at the micro level. Now, you see if I can I can control the display by going mass form, surfaces or zones. And if I'm working on surfaces, I can use the tab key to select the surface. I can come down and I can change the value from use the energy settings to let me provide values by face. So what I'm going to do is let's say I set the percentage glazing to 80%. And let me say that that glazing is shaded and then I want a shade of, I'm going to make it four feet just so we can see what's going on here. And now if you look at the, the, graf the graphic of the surface here you can see what's happened is that I've now got a shade on that surface. Let me do it one more time just so, so you can see what's going on. So I did a tab, selected the surface and now kind of at the micro level I'm going down and I'm overruling the general settings and applying whatever values I want to it here. So let's say it is shaded the four foot. So they're making my changes to the south side of the building. Um, now also it, while viewing like this if I change something to say show zones then you, you see that what I've got is when I pick on a zone like the center of the building here it's zoning it according to the building which was just office but if I wanted to I could come down and I could be a bit more specific let me see if I can do this here if I go down to actually if I type in O for office that should take me uh, down close to my options. Now that if that office part is open plan, so what I can do is change there, which is going to change the occupancy and the assumptions regarding miscellaneous equipment and lighting and all of those things. And then I'm, I'm ready to do another analysis. However, just before I go to do the other analysis, what I want to show you is that you can also use this option. It might make it easier to select things inside your project. So if I, if I switch to the option that says show mass by view, what, what I'm really saying is I'm going to use the view graphics of a particular view to decide exactly what is displayed. So say under the mass here I'm going to turn them all on just so you can see this. So that, that that is now me controlling what's shown in here according to the view graphics. Right? It, so the, the significance of this is that if I switch back to uh, let me make it, let me make the change by turning it off here. I want to just show you that the uh, the view graphics, let me turn off the mass option here because I want to show you a better option. I can have particular views like here set up so that the view itself, if I look at the view graphics you'll see what I've done. So I turned off everything except for mass forms and under the mass forms just display the mass zones. So if you look at the other ones that I've got here, the views that I saved, roof, I'm only displaying roof, internal walls, I'm only displaying the internal walls with the dividers. So that was where I had the 15 foot zone around the outside. Glazing, I'm only displaying the glazing. So this would actually make it easier to access the information to make changes for the overrides. The example I'm going to use here is I'm going to pick the the glazing. I'm just going to hold the control key and pick. Um, sorry, those two. Those two large panels here. Let me, let me do it. Uh, tab and select. And control and pick. No, no. 
I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold over here. I'm gonna say tab and select. Then I'm gonna come down and change the setting. So for example, here I'm gonna say let's do a single pane. Let's do double pane tinted. Right. And down here, tab and select double pane tinted. So I'm making those changes in my model uh, and kind of at a, a micro scale providing overrides for my project. 